Psalms 97 verse 1 says, The Lord reigns, let the earth rejoice. When we really know that God is in charge, I mean really know it. Beyond just reading about it or hearing about it, but to know it at the core of your soul, then you relax and you can rejoice in the moment. You don't have to wait for outer conditions to change because in faith you know. Every moment is too valuable to be wasted, and it's wasted when you don't rejoice. This weekend is a time to practice rejoicing. More and more people that I have seen, they wait for some magic moment, magic time, or, or some solution to come into their life before they can give themselves a permission to have joy and to have rejoicing. Well, when is the best time to rejoice? The present moment is an appropriate one. Now is always the right time to rejoice, to praise God with joy in your heart and a prayer of thanksgiving on your lips. Are you determined to make this weekend a cause for celebration? Are you willing to pray for wisdom, to celebrate God's gifts? If so, God will hear your prayers, and God will answer them. The Creator has filled this weekend with more blessings and more opportunities than you can count. Your challenge, of course, is to count as many as you can, and to get busy in taking full advantage of each one of the blessings. Since this is the day that the Lord has made, or the weekend that the war Lord has made, embrace it and let God completely fill you with genuine joy. And then rejoice. I wish you a weekend where you rejoice. I pray that every moment of this weekend is a special time for you, that you know without a doubt in your faith that God is taking care of everything. Therefore, you relax and you give yourself a break, a joy break. God bless you.